Hi, I'm Nagas and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to develop an Apple Watch timer. So we create an iOS application as we normally do, so iOS application single view. I'm going to call it Apple Watch timer and the language is Swift. And here I have the project. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a target. So file, new, target. And under iOS I have Apple Watch and I'm going to go ahead with that. Um, the only thing I'm doing here is I'm going to uncheck that because we don't need the notification scene and finish. Yes, I'm going to activate the Apple Watch um, timer watch kit scheme. And these two directories have now been added, these two here. Um, this here is the storyboard for my Apple Watch. And any images that I have will go, will go here. So okay, so here's the storyboard for my Apple Watch. Um, and here we have the object library. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image view and it's going to hold my image which is a football. I'm going to make it smaller and I am also going to center it. Okay. And next thing I'm going to add a date object which shows the current date. Um, I will also have a timer and two buttons as well. Start button. And I'm going to copy that and paste it and make this one stop button. Okay, so I have two buttons as well. So that's it, I'm done with the storyboard and the next thing is to connect my object to my code so I can make it um, start and stop the timer. So the first thing, I'm going to connect the timer and I will call it my timer. Next, I'm going to connect the two buttons. So. Um, here I'm going to call it start timer and it's an action because I want a function here and same with stop button so I'm going to call it stop uh, timer and again it's an action and connect. Now, in my uh, start time, I'm going to create a variable called current date time and it's going to be equal to ns date. This is going to give the current date and time and because what we want to do is we want to get the current time and then start from that point onwards. Um, then I say my timer dot set date and I set it to current date and time. And the next thing is to start the timer. So I say my, my timer dot start. And start is the default function provided by Apple, so I will use it. And that's it. And for the stop, I will say my, my timer dot stop. And that's it. So I can go ahead and run my um, application. Now, when you run it for the first time, um, you will not get this um, Apple Watch simulator. So what you need to do is you need to click on simulator, go to hardware, external displays and you need to select your Apple Watch from here. 
So here I have the Apple Watch. Let's test it. So it sh it's showing the current date and time. I'm going to start it. Yes, the time has started. And here I'm going to stop. And that's it. That's the end of the